Hi guys, this is Tech Howdy. I welcome you to another widget tutorial on creating an ASP.NET Core application with Angular 8. In this video tutorial, we will be coding the functionality to implement the filters. Currently, we have implemented the tabulator uh, table which loads the data from the database. But our filters are not working, so we cannot sort the data based on our requirements. In order to sort the data based on the requirements, we need to add the feature to sort this table based on the selected filters over here. We have different filters like active. If the, if the gallery is active, then I should be seeing results which contain only active galleries. So in order for this to work, we will add this functionality in our gallery.js file. So as soon as the filter is selected, the trigger is uh, the trigger is fired and the data is loaded as per the filter requirement. Also, I will be implementing the following filters. You can add more filters based on your requirements or on whatever table rows or table columns you have. Now, if you go to tabulator.info, you can also look under the examples or just search for filters, how you filter data, and you can have lots of information over there. You can view source of the examples, how it, the filters are created and how they are implemented. Now, uh, I would go back to our application and implement the filter based on this project's requirement. So now you see at the HTML code where we have the drop down, we have two filters. Uh, one is the filter field, which is the value that needs to be filtered. And then the second filter is the filter type, which contains all our comparison operators like equal to uh, greater than less greater or equal to and like. So first thing that we would want to do is we would need to create a function that can trigger that filter whenever the option is selected. So as soon as our option or filter is selected, the event should fire off and get the data or sort the data. So we will create the function over here and we will call this function as update filter. Update filter, first thing that we want to do is create a variable called as filter, which will get the value of the selected option. And to do it, we will use some jQuery. So I have got the option and I have set the value of the selected field to this variable over here. Next thing that we want to do is we want to check if the selected filter field value is equal to a function. If the fields value is equal to a function, then we will disable both the drop down. So we will disable uh, the type drop down and the field drop down. So what do we mean by this condition over here, which says if the filter type field is equal to a function. So I'm not using a function in this project, but I will explain what exactly it is. So look at this interactive example that we have on tabulator. So if you select the first option name, you can select and sort based on the name. So if I type the alphabet N, I would get all the uh, users whose name contains the alphabet N. But then I look at the last option here. This last option here says uh, the user that drives and has a rating which is uh, less than three. So if I select this, obviously there is some function that is going to execute and it's going to select all the uh, users that drive and who have rating less than three. So these are those users. But if you notice the type field, I cannot do anything. It's kind of grayed out. So if a filter uh, field whose value is equal to a function, then this type field gets disabled based on that function. So if you view the source code, there is a function that the example contains. And if you see, there is a function where they 
basically go and get the user who drives and they update the data based on the function so here is the function which says custom filter and the custom filter function gets executed and returns the data of drivers who drive and who have rating less than three so in our example none of these uh, values or none of these field types uh, have any functions associated so whenever we select any of these fields we should be able to sort based on the type or value comparison operators so we are not using any function but you can add your own functions by following this example and then writing your own uh, method that values that are supposed to be returned so now that's what we are doing over here i am checking if the filter field is equal to a function and if it's not it is equal to a function then disable disabling the other options and if it's not then we are not disabling them we keep them as false so that they can be selected the drop down is not grayed out after we have validated this if condition the next thing that we want to do the table object which we our table tabulated table is called as table so whatever is your table object you'll call that table object dot and then you will call the set filter method so this is the inbuilt method that is available for tabulated tables so calling the set filter method first you will pass the filter value that you get that is stored in this uh, variable uh, second the second thing that you want to do is get the filter type value so we have got the first value now we'll get the second value second value is basically the operator that is being used over here so get the value from this drop down so let's do that so we got the filter type value by accessing its id now the third parameter that we need to specify if a user is using this comparison operator so they will obviously specify a value over here so if the user if i'm searching a gallery by the id which is equal to three so i will specify three over here so i need to get the value from this input box as well so that's my third value or the third parameter that i need to specify is the filter value so let's get let's get that value so i get that value and i store it over here so the object that stores that value the input box that id is filter value and you can look it up in the html code as well by doing control f and you'll see that's the value over here it's a form control so once i have all these three values i can set the filter and when i save this uh, this function now should be available okay so but this function would not be executed unless we set a listener that is listening so that this trigger can be uh, triggered this function can be triggered so let's do that now so inside the document dot ready method what we want to do is we will want to call this method over here update the filters on value change so any value that changes we will keep listening for it and if any values are changed then we will update the filter so first thing that we want to do is we will use the dot change and key up methods over here so at a time the change is detected on these ids objects with these ids which is our filter field and filter type we will update the filter also and for the filter value which is basically the third input box here if somebody hits enter then we will uh, sort the data so there is no button basically so they have to hit enter so therefore we are using the dot key up event over here and then firing off our update uh, filter method that we uh, just wrote over here to update the filters so it's the same method that we are going to call over here inside this 
uh, on uh, document.ready method. Let's go back to the application, save our jQuery, and check if we are Welcome able. Welcome to VoiceOver. Uh, VoiceOver speak. Oh, but able to, sorry for that. We are able to uh, see if it works. So Control R on Mac to reload and uh, Control R or Command R, or you can do Control F5 on Windows to reload the JavaScript files uh, and then go back to the action tab. Now let's see if we can filter the values. So I'm looking at the title and you see the filter works. Uh, so when the document was ready, the filter was looking up for any change events now. So if title equals to animal, so there is no title of the animal. When we use equal to operator, then it should be the exact value. So I can use like, and let's check. Yes, we have title, which, which is like animal. Now, if I put gallery, I still get it. Let's try the uh, equal to with ID and ID three. Yes. So our filters work. So we have implemented the filter functionality. Now I have this clear filter button, which basically when clicked, this value here should be cleared. So let's, uh, uh, this value here should be cleared. So let's go ahead and add the method for that. So if you right click and inspect, I've already added an uh, event for that. Uh, I've added an ID which is called as filter clear. So let's go ahead and add the on click event for that. <coughs> so just below the update filter method, I'm going to add the clear filter method here. So the clear filter method basically is it's not a method, it's a Java, it's a jQuery click event that I'm adding. So we have jQuery library already installed. So as soon as the button or the object with the ID filter clear, which is uh, this button here, filter clear, is clicked, jQuery will fire off this function, which is basically going to clear the values and set the default values. So if I save this and do control R to reload the files, I should be able to clear the values that I do select over here. So now when I do clear filter, the filters have been cleared and default value is set over here. Okay, so this should be it for this video tutorials. We have successfully implemented the clear filter uh, functionality and the tabulator uh, functionality is now complete. Also the reload galleries button already has the view gallery method on click event. So as soon as you click the reload galleries, the galleries will be reloaded because the view gallery method will be fired, which loads the galleries again from database. Now we have to uh, see if the save changes. So this is the save changes uh, functionality, which basically calls the save changes method or the function. And we will add that in the next video tutorial. This should be it for this video tutorial for just implementing filters. And let's work on this save changes. Uh, functionality on the in the next video tutorials if you have any questions use the comment section and as mentioned you can look up the documentation on adding custom functions inside your filters how you can do that and you can implement it if you don't want to it's up to you but you can you can do it tabulator is a very powerful library and you can do a lot with it thank you and please don't forget to subscribe